Ladies and gentlemen, and ladies, welcome to the Brother Spade Podcast. Starring Griffin and Tony Roof, this is the podcast where we go over everything boxing and MMA related. And today, it's not the best way to start a podcast, but we do have to talk about it. Jake Paul and Tommy Fury. They recently fought in Saudi Arabia, and Tommy Fury came out the winner. This hurts me most because I have such high hopes for Jake Paul, and I really thought he would finally be a professional boxer, and nobody could say anything ever again. But that wasn't the case. What do you think? What are are your thoughts? About his loss? Yeah, or anything. Because I have a lot to say, but I don't know if you want to. I think the loss is devastating. Mm-hmm. Um, we have to start the podcast on like a, the most sour note you could possibly. Oh my start, god! Right? <laughs> like imagine if he would have won, our energy would have been. Oh yeah! Like I said, you'd be in here jumping around. I would. But so, the, but I saw the fight, and the way I just saw Tommy dominate Jake. Because I like said this before, like I think I saw Jake win like two, maybe three rounds at I best. Didn't see. Oh well, what I saw, two to three rounds. Mm-hmm. Like it was Jake really. That wasn't his day, and Tommy was dominating. He was doing what he was supposed to, and using his long jab and putting pressure on Jake, which was good. That's what he was supposed to. But man, I, I just thought that right hand. Because Tommy's known to like get caught with his hands down, and I just thought. And that's Jake's like. That's his bread and butter. Should, yeah. yeah, that's his bread and butter. The butter is his right hand. I mean, that's what put out Tyron Woodley. Uh, that's what took out Ben Astrid and some other fighters like that. His right hand is just devastating. Uh huh. It's like Wilder, like that. He's got that one. You put me. Oh man. <laughs> Jake's right, but. Wilder's right. Well, no, obviously Wilder's is like more powerful, but like the the idea that those are the bread and butter. Like even Deontay Wilder says, I don't know when it's going to come, but when it comes, you know, and he says they have to strike of midnight. (laughs) Like his (laughs) strike of midnight, yeah. Like he has said to his opponents that his opponents have to be good for the first like the whole fight, he just has to be good for a few seconds. But anyway, with the Jake and Tommy fight, I'll admit Jake landed, I saw some pretty good combinations and some jabs. I mean, he did drop Tommy with a jab and people were saying that the it was a slip, but it wasn't because if you look, like I actually have it up here. Yeah, you can pull that up. Yeah, I have it right up here. Come on, Tommy. People were saying it's a slip. And but, you can see why they say that, though. Yeah, I guess. But the thing is, he caught Tommy off guard, like he was off balance, and he hit him with a jab, which pushed him back, and his feet weren't there. They were all spread out, and that's why he fell back. Like he wouldn't. And there was a, and there was a punch that that connected. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I see it right here. Yeah, it clearly landed, and the only reason why Tommy went to the ground was because he got caught off guard with a jab. It wasn't the it wasn't the most brutal punch Jake Paul ever thrown in his life. No, it was just a clean jab. He saw Tommy throwing a jab of his own, so he slipped and came back with his own. That's just it. I mean, right. like I said, it wasn't a powerful shot. Tommy wasn't hurt. You, you saw he got right back up. So there you go. So this is, I guess, like a little bit of uh, knowledge in case like somebody wouldn't know. If they're watching, like, or would watch our podcast. So, if a fighter goes down on one knee, is that a knockdown? I would say so. Okay. Um, if I were, for whatever reason, to touch my glove to the canvas, what is that? Is that a knockdown? Can I do that? Can I put my glove no, no. on the canvas? I don't think you can get away with that. Because no. I've seen fighters that like have like had their glove touch the canvas and it counts as a knockdown. I've seen Floyd Mayweather do it. Right. Uh, Jake 
Paul's first opponent, uh, his first professional opponent, Gibb, uh, Gibb like uh, like stumbled back and like his glove touched the canvas and he didn't realize. But yeah, that uh, like that counted as a knockout. You are correct. Yeah. And obviously, when Jake lost, I was just like, wow. Like I didn't know what to think because like. What happens with the KSI fight? Will there be a rematch? Like everything is going into oh, like perspective. Yeah. Right. And I don't know, the way he handled the loss, it was it had me like like in like two different ways. Cause he started making some excuses saying he was sick, he was flat. If those were the case, like I've seen the way Concept talk about this, he said that uh, his coaches should have said that not the fighter himself. Like, if the coaches would have said that, then Wade would have been like, like, then everyone would have been like, okay, you know? Like, yeah, the coaches shouldn't make excuses too, but like, it would be better than the fighter. But then after the fight, after he took some time, he was respectable. He gave Tommy props. He, like, showed that, like, he was even saying on Twitter, saying, I'll be back. Like, don't judge me by my wins, judge me by my losses this is what happens like he was being like really respectable but then also he made excuses you know and i told you this i was like if a fighter is getting beat and then at the end of the fight he ends up winning and he gets his hand raised and his face is like right and then like after after the fight he goes no i didn't win that this guy did and then he goes to his opponent and raises his hand i told you this that will forever be my favorite fighter because in boxing i don't have favorite fighters and then they I have like a list, but boxing I don't because I watch boxing more, so there's so much more people right. compared to MMA where I only watch a couple of guys. But like if someone was to do that in a boxing fight or an MMA, that would be my favorite fighter. You know? Because you see when people like get yeah, announced. Really I know, but you yeah. see when people get announced to the winner, they're like sometimes they're like confused, but then they act all confident. Yeah. If a fighter was to be like, no, I didn't win that, and then like go to his opponent and be like, he won that, this should be his belt or whatever favorite fighter and who knows that may never ever happen but if it does that's my guy if that happens i say conspiracy <laughs> why because that's never going to happen <laughs> okay. so there's got to be something behind this guy that's so incredible that he's going to let somebody else take the w you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. and following jake's loss his his biggest rival ksi had a lot to say Man, he was not holding back anything. He was calling both Jake and Tommy trash cans, saying that he beat them. He saying, should. Yeah, he should. I mean, he is like hyping up a fight. He was saying so much. Like, uh, what fight has he had that he can say something? That's like also that, right? true. If you like, think, who he fought? yeah, if you think about it, he fought Joe Weller, a YouTuber, but he don't know him. Yeah, he demolished him. <laughs> And he fought Logan Paul twice, and Logan Paul gave up, like, he gave him a good fight the first two rounds, but then got tired and clinched his way to, vic uh, to not victory, it was a draw. And then in the second fight, he didn't even throw. Like, he would have either KSI hurt, or he would have him tired, and he just let him recover. So, and then what, what level uh, would you say Logan's at as far as boxing? Well, would you say he's on, like, a... Tommy Fury level? No. Is he I'd say on Jake's level? I don't know. With Tommy... Because Jake like, basically always says, like, you know, I but, you, but you also have to think, during the fight, Tommy, uh, Logan Paul was there, and he called out Tommy and saying, like, Tommy's like a pussy, Tommy's a bitch, all this. But to be honest, Logan's known for fighting with his hands down to the ground, you know? And that's why he gets clipped so much. And if he's gonna fight someone like Tommy, Tommy's probably just gonna like hit him with shots because he keeps his hands down, you know? Like Logan might like hit some, uh, Tommy with a good shot here and there, but like, I don't know, like I just think that Tommy would probably beat Logan too. I have so much more respect for Tommy. Wow. Like, like, I, like, I feel stupid it's, it's, in it's, hindsight, but like, I, I just think- These Paul brothers are like, kind of like going down. But, I don't know, I just don't think Logan with his like, hands down and like, like he has a good jab, I think. And he kept, I don't know. 
But the thing is, Logan's probably improved. So maybe he can crack Tommy. I don't know. What makes you think he may have improved? Well, it's been a few years since the Mayweather. I mean, and he's been... Oh, uh, if he is, like, he's, like yeah, in he's been, Yeah, he's been in gym, so he's probably, like, doing boxing. But he broke his hand, I think, 2021. He broke his hand. So, but then that's recovered, and he's probably been doing boxing. I don't know. I don't even know when, if he'll ever box again, because he's doing the WWE, so I, mean, I don't know. It's complicated with Logan, but that's... We don't I mean, have to, he could. Yeah, we, we don't have to worry about that for now. Yeah. I feel like KSI has a lot to say, but he hasn't really backed up a lot. But he did tweet uh, recently, sure. and he said, May 13th, I'll do what Jake Paul couldn't do. Which makes me think that he's gonna fight Joe Fournier. Have you heard of him? He's a 9 0 boxer. So it makes me think he's gonna fight Joe Fournier, who's a professional boxer, who's nice undefeated, nice. like Tommy, and then beat him and be like, wow, like, why am I gonna fight Jake Paul? He couldn't beat a professional boxer. But then. But then I, I don't know. But to be honest, I just. I wanna see the KSI and Jake fight, and people would believe that this should be the next fight for Jake, and whoever wins that uh, can fight Tommy. Like if KSI wins, he can get a fight at Tommy because he said on podcast before that his end goal is Jake, but if Jake loses to Tommy, he has to fight Tommy, you know? Like he fought the guy who I've been wanting to fight for years and he beat him, you know? True. So, but if Jake beats KSI, um, then he should get the rematch with Tommy. But I don't think Jake should fight Tommy before KSI because if he's to lose, which now that I'm thinking about it, he will probably lose to Tommy a second time because Tommy has said that uh, he believes if they fought again, he just needs to put more pressure, put more pace on Jake, and he believes he'll get the stoppage. That could happen. And if Jake's to lose two times in a row, that kind of kills the whole uh, KSI and Jake. It's like with the Usyk and Joshua fight. Like, Joshua lost twice against Usyk, and that just killed the Tyson and Joshua fight, because why would Tyson fight this guy who lost two times in a row when he can beat the guy who beat him two times in a row in, like, dominating fashion? Right. Like, it's like the same KSI. Why would KSI fight Jake when he can fight the guy who beat him twice in dominating fashion? Right. Uh, I've been talking a lot. I'm no, it's okay. No. No, I'm you're good. But... No. Jake just messed all this up. Like he fucked everything up. Yeah. You know? So then, <clears throat> do you really want to see a Fury Paul to? Do you really want to no. see that? I you want. Know, I want to see the. I want to see the Jake and KSI more because right. I've been waiting three years ever since Jake's first fight. Like I don't want to see KSI and Tommy Fury. Like I don't want to see that. I'd rather see KSI and Jake Paul, but. It kind of sucks because Jake lost. It would have been like so incredible had he, if, you know, he wouldn't have had to knock Tommy Fury out. Mm-hmm. But he could have, you know, he would have just got his hand raised. You know what I mean? Yeah. This KSI fight is now like this thing is going to happen. This might not happen. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I was going to mention the fake script brought up with Tommy and Jake, but that's just, uh, that's just yeah, stupid. That's like, of, that's something that's just been put out. Yeah, like that's just stupid, and like yeah. we know, like everyone knows, Jake doesn't like fake his fights. He works too hard, you know. It's just stupid. Like none of it really happens. No, he's fake his fights. He's, yeah, he's he's performing. He's putting on a show for you. you know what I mean? mm-hmm. That just like it's just stupid. Yeah, he puts all everything he has into doing what he does. You know what I'm saying? Cheat that part of it. Yeah. I mean, he can be tricky and and you know say all different kinds of things, but you know at the end of it, like he's it's it's legit. All so right. Just like to get the end. So now that we've went through the YouTuber boxing, let's go through the pro boxing. The next fight coming up is Joshua versus Franklin. That's the very first one on yeah. our list of fights. That's coming up. Oh, wait. I forgot about the plant versus Benavidez. Oh. Yeah, we should do that one first. We Caleb, that one first. Yeah, Caleb Plant uh-huh. versus Benavidez. How much have you seen of Plant? 
Um, I saw... I knew, I knew about him with the Canelo fight, so I'd say since the Canelo fight, because I saw him fight Canelo, I saw him fight that one guy who he knocked out and was like doing the gray yeah, thing. Uh, I forgot his me, name. Let me think of the guy real quick. Uh, Anthony Durrell. Oh, yeah, Durrell. Yeah. Um, that's all I've seen from Plant. And then Benavides, I recently got into mm. when, he, when I knew he was going to fight Plant. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Benavides. I saw his highlights, man. He throws fast, powerful combinations. I saw him like against the accurate. ropes. Oh, accurate too. Yeah. I saw him against the ropes and he was like seven punch combination and it all landed. Yeah. And he can crack. And another thing that concerns me, because I love Plant, but Benavides <laughs> always puts pressure on his fighters, like on his opponents. Like he's always on their ass. Okay, so. Like, Jesus. Is there is there a way you could pull it up to see uh, the weight class that he's in and then who is in his weight class? Is there a way to do that so we could mm. potentially see who's like how he would be able to unify the you know the division? Yeah, but I feel like that would take long. Okay, but, um, but you don't have to worry yeah. about that. But jeez, I saw Benavides. Like, man, like, he puts pressure, and that's what kind of concerns me, is because we saw what happened when Canelo put pressure on Plant. Like, but but then again, like, Plant is incredible. Like, he's not bad. Like, his only loss is to Canelo. And then again, it went to the 11th round, you yeah. know? And yeah. he, like, he almost went the distance with Canelo, which is pretty good. And, like, if you're only losing to Canelo, that's not bad. And he, like, was hitting Canelo with jabs and stuff. Like, Plant is, like, I well, love that's Plant. that's what he told uh, Benavides. He said, you know, they, they're uh, talking shit about, you know, him losing. And he said that he had an opportunity to be a champion. And he took that opportunity. Yeah. If Canelo calls and you say you're a fighter, right? Uh-huh. You're, you're accepting that call, right? You're not, like, I got a chance to be unified. Yeah, and that's what you do. Like you so. only, and you only have one belt. You just have to beat this guy, <laughs> and you get all the other belts without having to fight all these other guys. So with that fight, I think Benavides will not plan on. Okay. Um, it wouldn't shock me if Plant somehow won. I mean, he's been in on the spotlight, the spotlight, main events. Canelo. That's true. You know what I'm saying? You take something. You, you gotta take something from that. Right. You know, you don't just fight Canelo and then just I mean, not that's really a, learn That's a pain. war with the ultimate warrior. Mm -hmm. Like you're in a war with this guy. You but know, the best that can do it. So. You did say something. You said you think Benavides won't be beaten and he would probably beat Canelo. I don't think. Um, and then, like, you know, I'll have to do my homework on it. Oh, yeah. But. I'm not that I educated on Benavides right. though, so Me I, I, so I can't more. Lie. Yeah. Um, I've just seen a little bit of it. Same. But as soon as you see, I mean, as soon as you see it, Jeez. you know that's kind of different than your average kind of fighter that wants to be a champion. Like he's a champion. Like you he's can see it. it. Oh yeah. my yeah. You can see it. She, like I saw those highlights, and my mind was just like, yeah, like, like it's incredible. Like, because Benavides is on you all the time, you know? He like, from closes, what I've seen. He closes the And his good. combinations are fast. He throws a lot of them, too. His size. Yeah. I mean. And with Plant, from what I've seen, he's, like, really, like, a technical boxer, you know? Like, he'll, like, point you out. Or sometimes he'll knock you out, but, like, he'll point you. And, you know, like, he's good. But I don't know. Like, with Benavides putting that pressure. He just seems yeah. like he's on the But do well. you want to say anything about the... That steps in front of him, and he does is get beat. Oh, okay. Get I like that. Beat, get beat. And it's it's either knockouts or unanimous decisions. There ain't gonna be no split decisions. Yeah, because he's 26 and 0 with 23 knockouts, right? Jesus, three people. You're not getting the. He's either knocking you out or he's almost knocking you out to win. Oh, you know oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I need to, I need to watch more than he does. But oh, now I can't wait because. Oh, mean, yeah. I'm so, excited for this. You you think Benavides will be one or mm. 
I probably should do more research. Mm, before you put your stamp on I, I don't know. I'd probably like see the. Okay, I won't say how I think this fight will go. Well, okay, I won't say who I think will win, but how I probably will see it going. I'll probably see Benavidez putting a lot of pressure on Plant, mm. but Plant will try to like like outpoint him, like stand away, maybe outpoint him, you know, hit him with some good combinations, probably. He's not going to be able to stay away from Benavidez. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe. There's not enough ring. I mean, ring. he was able to stay away yeah. from Canelo a little bit, like, I don't know. Yeah, there's not enough ring. There's maybe. nowhere to hide. But I think Benavidez will put a lot of pressure, but then again, I don't know. I'll do more research, maybe, but I can't wait. That's going to be fun to see, though. Yeah. It's gonna oh, be yeah. Hey, it's going to be a fun good. fight. Yeah, I can't wait to see. All right, second fight coming up. Joshua and Franklin. Uh, it's a, I, it's, I, it's a tune up. Yeah, I, I'm going to be honest. It's a tune up with a with guy that's out of shape. You know what I mean? That, I have not seen I mean, any. He's good. You know, I can't fight at that level. But, I mean, come on. And they have to put, him, saying, in, they have to put him in there with somebody. And it's just Frank. It just happens to be this guy. Okay. You know what I mean? Let me give you my sense. I have not seen anything from Franklin. Right. But I'm... But like and stuff, and he probably has some like some wins. that's the thing. Like he has to be good enough to beat Joshua to fight Joshua. Like they right. wouldn't just put like someone who's terrible against Joshua. No. Like even if this is his comeback fight, and maybe his comeback fight needs to be like a like a win, you know. So he, like because if he's to lose his comeback fight, that would be stupid. But and they probably need him to like fight like this guy to be like right. it's a two match. Yeah, so that's but what it has to it now. But this guy has to be somewhat good, you right. know? Like Well, this is this is how good he is. And this is the simple math. <laughs> so if uh, AJ is ranked five, okay, just okay. say that we're gonna put five as the number. Okay. Franklin is twenty-three. Do you want to you know, know what I mean? You want that's to, what it is. You want to inform them about Tell your me. history with Joshua? How you liked him? And then yeah. Well that he, he suckered me in just like he before suckered, the, he suckered you in. Before the Ruiz fight. He suckered you, you in. Have to, you He's, have to say yeah, that. Because everybody you, loved Joshua. Oh yeah. Everybody. I mean, how could you not? Right. When you think about it. And like this is like a juggernaut. When he you and know he beat Klitschko. Right. Then again, oh, was old, but then, yeah, but, still, but he knocked him out in Tyson Fury. And and, like when I, a lot the of, first time I seen Klitschko in my oh, mind. Oh, I can only imagine at the time because heavyweight division was shit. <laughs> like if you look back, I'll take your word for it. Shit, I got in the boxing but, in 20, 2019. Man, so. you see this guy? He's Late knocking 19. out people left and right. Mm -hmm. and he's a big dude, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and, you know. And I didn't think, man. No, nobody's gonna be able to beat this guy. Uh huh. And uh, I mean, H made it look easy. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he, like yeah, he got knocked out, uh, knocked down by Klitschko, but then again, he came back and was like, Whoa. yeah. I mean, well, you know, not easy, but I mean. Well, yeah, he, but I see what you mean. He kind of made it look like, wow. Yeah. Like, and then maybe off track, but that's not the same Joshua that fights now. With that same kind of spirit. Oh mean, yeah. They just like I don't you, know. you saw him against Usyk and even Ruiz. It was like people like it was like do you like yeah, like you do you want to die for these belts or do you want to like yeah, fight for them? Like he thinks not that. He and I still this. like Joshua. I, I still I, do. I like Joshua too. Just I'll never I'll never like him. I mean, he could win the rest of his side fights. He could uh, unify this thing again. Yeah, if, you know what I'm saying? If he, if he did, okay. then I would go. Damn. If he did it again. Yeah. Really? If he I did mean, that, like, if he did it one more time. He can. But if he did, <laughs> you know. I still like Joshua. Like, I still love him. Like, like he's so, like, he's such a good guy outside the ring. You know, like, like to see, like, when he fights. I don't really care what he does. It's only when he fights, it's only when he fights an actual, like, better boxer, like, Lucic, that... Uh, it goes down, or if he underestimates yeah, the guy. skill level. He's yeah. he's somehow thought, maybe unconsciously, uh -huh. because I'm so big, I'm just gonna win. 
You know what I mean? Well, I think that's about every heavyweight. Because every when it comes to heavyweight fights, you have to think like everyone says, "Oh, it only takes one punch." Yeah. And so you, you have to think that's probably a lot of heavyweight and then fighters. You wonder, you wonder why Fury calls him the bodybuilder. <laughs> you know funny. what I mean? Because oh that's God. what he looks like. That's so know. funny. <laughs> calls him a bodybuilder. Yeah. I hope. So I hope. So I hope. Him, I hope Fury and Usyk fight and just unify it. Or, yeah. They say April 29th, but who knows, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not confirmed yet, but oh man, Fury's just gonna have fun. He's gonna probably play with Usyk the first week. He's just gonna play and make fun of him, you know? Oh. He's gonna make fun of him, and then he's yeah. just gonna finish him. Yeah. Or, yeah. or, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if. I mean, I don't know. Usyk might go to a decision. Might. I mean, he's, he's not gonna. He might go to a decision. Now, don't, don't get it wrong. Fury's not going to decide when uh, he's going to end Usyk. Oh yeah. Usyk's better than that. He's going to, you know, he's going to have a game plan, mm-hmm. and then uh, it'll happen when it happens. He's not going to underestimate Usyk. Oh no. No, if it's it not. happens in the fourth or the seventh, he's yeah. not going to just say, "Oh, I'm not going to smoke my girl in the fourth round." 